Hi, today we'll be creating a solution to this challenge I recently launched on Twitter. So yeah, we're going to maximize the CSS, we're going to put everything in the HTML. So we're going to have background, uh, and this is not going to be a radial gradient, but we don't have autocomplete for conic, so that's the whole deal with it. Now, if you haven't seen my article on how conic gradients can really simplify background patterns, I will be linking it in the description, but for now, let's get back here. So, we'll be starting with a conic gradient from 45 degrees. We're going to go 125 degrees, and then 90 more degrees to 225, which is 135 plus 90. So let's put that into code. So from 45 degrees, uh, we're going to have the first color up to 135 degrees. Okay, and then we're going to just uh, copy paste this and modify it. So then we're going to have the second color, sharp transition up to 225 degrees and then the third color and then again sharp transition. Okay, now having done this, let's set a background size. So we're going to have background size like this. It's starting to look like something, but we don't want that conic gradient uh, at the center at 50%, 50%. We want it at two thirds horizontally and one third vertically. So that's going to be at 66 and 33%. Okay, now we only have the corners, right? Uh, and that is going to use a linear gradient. Oh, one more thing, if you are confused about those two values right there, I also wrote an article about that, about double subposition. So yeah, again, it's going to be linked in the description. So here, we're going to go diagonally, so like this. Uh, so that's uh, towards minus 45 degrees or towards 135. It doesn't really matter because the pattern is symmetrical. Okay, so by symmetrical, I mean we're going to have the background color, we're going to have transparent, and then again, that same background color. Okay, now if we had, comma, if we had that um, center of the conic gradient right in the middle, so at 50%, 50%, we'd go up to 25%, which is half of 50%. But this way, we're going to go up to half of 33%. So that's going to be 16 Okay, now here we're going to have a sharp transition and we're going to go up to 100% minus this value because as I said, we want to have something symmetrical there. Okay, and then another sharp transition. And of course, 135 degrees, not uh, like that. Okay, so we have our result. Let's indent arrange stuff properly because it looks ugly like this. Okay, much better. And by the way, this is under 200 bytes if we take uh, the minified version. Okay, so this is it. This is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, if you like the work that I'm putting out since early 2012 and you want me to be able to do more in the future, please consider supporting it. You can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon. Or if monthly donations are not your style, there is the option of one-time donations. There's going to be a link for that in the description below. Or you can also get me something off my Amazon wishlist to make me happy. Uh, again, the links are going to be in the description. Or you can at least share this to show the role I can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching and until next time. Bye!